Welcome back to PC Building Simulator 2, and welcome back to Free Build Extreme, the series where we build some weird stuff. So uh, you might be looking around thinking, well, this looks different. That's because we're in the new Linus Tech Tips theme, uh, the new workshop theme that was introduced in the 1.4 update to PC Building Simulator 2, which is pretty cool. So uh, in honor of Linus and his his face on this mouse pad here and, and, his, and his sad face over here, uh, we're gonna do a build that's a little bit more, it's gonna be themed kind of the way uh, Linus might theme, a, might, might, might theme an actual uh, a PC build. So we're gonna take inspiration from one of the builds he did on the channel, which is the ultimate RGB PC. Uh, they've actually done it a couple times. So I'm gonna do my take on how to build the ultimate RGB PC in PC Building Simulator 2. Um, uh, drawing some inspiration from, from, from Linus Tech Tips and, and all the, the great content there. So let's get started, let's jump in. Let's build something with a lot of RGB because that is really all that matters in peace building, right? It, more RGB, more better, right? Yes, yes, that's right. Uh, okay, case is gonna be really important here. So a lot of good cases that would work really well, but the case that I'm gonna use is going to enable us to do some kind of cool stuff. It should be pretty fun. Uh, let me find it. I'm just gonna keep scrolling until we find it. There's so many good choices. Okay, I can't find it. I'm gonna search for it. Ragent Tech, uh, Eris Evo. You might have been thinking it was gonna go Enya. We did not. This is a very large case. Is this actually a, is this a super tower? Full tower. Okay, it feels it feels like a super tower. It's not. Uh, all right, let's cool. Let's go. Let's go and uh, pull this stuff apart here. Got a front panel. I do have a dust filter here. It's interesting. Uh, side panel. Glass there. Same kind of solid panel and dust filter on back. We'll just pull those up too, don't necessarily need to. We've got a dust filter around back, around this massive fan hub that, that holds six 120 mil fans, which is crazy. Uh, we'll, we'll, that, will, that will be involved in our whole, all the RGB in one PC, let's do it. Yeah, it's gonna be involved in that. So uh, let's pull up this beauty panel around back and then kind of this this frame around where you put the power supply. And then also you can access things from the front too, which is interesting. You can see where the power supply sits there. We've got room for four, four hard drives? Four? Yeah, We've got four sleds there. So that's it. That's pretty much the case. Uh, there is a dust filter up top, which we can leave on. We don't really need to pull it off. The fans will be mounted underneath it. So there we go. Now, let's get a motherboard going. I uh, wanted to pick a motherboard that's gonna be, you know, as you have some pretty good RGB on it, be a good performer as well. And I landed on the, I don't know, so high low. yes, the MSI Meg X670E Godlike, which is going to support uh, AMD's AM5 chipset and 7000 series of Ryzen. So let's go with that. It is an EATX motherboard. You can see it's, a, it's very large, very wide. And it has some pretty cool RGB, and overall just looks good and has some great features. So we're gonna roll with that. There it is, let's drop a CPU in here. And, and I mean, we're going RGB, so full RGB here. I don't know why we would skimp on cost. So why don't we just throw the 16 core 7950X Ryzen 9 in there? Why not? We could delit it, right? Because you can delit CPUs now with the 1.4 update as well, which is pretty cool. So we could delit it. Um, I'm not going to delit it because it takes a little while and this is going to take long enough anyway. But you could delit it. That's so cool that they added that into the game. Pretty fun. Uh, all right, there's our CPU. Let's get our memory clips open and let's get some nice looking RGB DDR5 memory in here. Uh, we'll just go ahead and search for RGB, see our options. Patriot Viper Venom, addressable RGB. Could be interesting. Team groups, T4 is not bad either. What? I'm actually interested to try this Venom out. Man, it only comes in 32 gig dims. $223 each. Why not? Wow, that's a lot. 6200 megahertz. Pretty quick. Oh, I don't know if that red. Just can't decide. Curious. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll try. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. All right, there's that. Uh, if we move to storage here, we have a lot of room for M.2, and there are RGB M.2s, which is super great. And that's sad because they're all under, all under these shields. So we could go ahead and we can put one on there, and, it, and we'll know it's there, and it'll feel good knowing it's there, but we won't be able to see it, which is sad. We could put two there. We could put one here, 
and we can put another one over here. So all the RGB is there, you just can't see it, which is just, just so sad. So, 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 so sad. But I get it also, you know, cooling. So it's worth it, I guess, sort of. All right, let's get some thermal paste on our CPU and then we're gonna get CPU cooler installed. For CPU cooler, so obviously we could do water cooling. This is a, this is a very large case. You know, we've got room to do, um, I think pump res mounts there, if I remember right. So like we have room to do all that. The problem is the the fan mounts in this case are huge. Um, you can do four 120, oh my gosh, five 120 mil fans. One, two, three, four, five 120 mil fans. Um, and yeah, five up, uh, one, two, three, four up top. Four is a little bit smaller. Um, we don't really have like an AIO or radiators that are gonna fit that well without you know, having some spots missing and looking kind of dorky. So for that reason, I'm going to surprisingly go air cooling. So type, we're gonna go air cooler. And then we're gonna look at our RGB options here. We've got a few. Um, I'm gonna go with the Ragen Tech Delos RBW. Well, uh, it's actually got some pretty cool lighting on it. It's an interesting looking cooler. It's real, real, real tall, but it fits in this case. But it's real tall. It's got some kind of cool lighting. You'll see once we actually get things booted up here. And it just clears our memory. Woohoo! That's good. Let's swing around back and get a power supply installed. Um, we can do an RGB power supply. Now it's not as cool as like the Asus ROG power supply they use in the latest Linus Tactics uh, RGB PC where it's got the screen on the side and all that, but it does have an RGB fan and they do have a 1200 watt version. So we're gonna use it and we'll be able to see it briefly. You can see this little white strip there is, that's actually the, the LED, um, it's where the LED filters through and you, you'll be able to see it a little bit, but it's, it's fairly subtle. And then of course the side that actually faces out Granted, we'll probably be covered if we close it. Uh, you can't see it at all, so I mean, you know, but it's it's there. Oh, is that the, is this, this little micro USB must actually be the RGB input, I'm guessing. Never really noticed that, that's kind of cool. Uh, all right, cool. So, um, what do we do, GPU? Fans, fans, that's some fans. So fans, fans, fans is an interesting one in this. Like I said, we have the option to do five 120 mil fans in the front and five in the back and four up top or or this case is crazy it's this is kind of why i wanted to do this case is you could actually use this 200 mil fan from msi 90 cfm um and you could do three of them and they are rgb and I feel like, because that's a fun, unique thing to do, we're, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. That will flow an absolute ton of air. There you go, you got three in the front. <laughs> Crazy. Uh, I think I have the auto cable tool turned off because I'm gonna manually cable everything and that should work better than letting it do it on its own when there's this many fans. You'll see there's gonna be a lot more fans involved here. And then our last one. Can you imagine just the amount of air traveling across these components? It's crazy. Uh, and in addition to that, because because we can, uh, I'm gonna add another fan. We're gonna go with the Corsair IQ QL 140 up top. Um, so one, two, three, four, one, 140 mil fans up top. And these are nice. They have a really good looking, um, RGB diffuser there, that would look super sharp. The only sad thing is everything's a little bit withdrawn from the window because of the frame. So you have to kind of look around a bit to see it, but uh, you'll, you'll, you'll see when things look looks pretty good. So we got the four up there. And then again, if you remember, we took off this weird bracket fan hub thing on the back. That's, yeah, that, that's gonna let us put six more 120 mil fans this time on the rear. Now these in this orientation are, are currently pulling air. Um, I'm not exactly sure like what these are supposed to do in this orientation. I mean, there is a huge, I mean, there's a significant gap there, I guess. 
pulling air into it could make some sense. Pulling air away from it could make... I mean, this is probably fine. Um, it's, it, it actually balances out the four up top, the four 140 mil fans, probably fairly well that are pulling air out of the case. So um, I'll take it. So we're going to do six here because we can, because it's all about RGB. All the RGB. And there we go. So six 120s in the back, four 140s up top, and then six 200 mil fans in the front and back combined. That is a total of 16 fans, six of which are 200 millimeter. Wow, that's, I mean, it's, it's pretty interesting. There's a lot of fans to connect, as you can see. Um, and we might run into, we'll see, that, that red guy, I think that's gonna hopefully go away. I hope so. Yeah, I think it's gonna figure itself out. So we're gonna we're gonna do as much daisy chanting as we can here for for cleanliness. Um, okay, and we'll see how this goes exactly. Uh, connecting fans is always can always be a little interesting, but I am doing it manually because a lot of this is okay. Okay, things are. I just hope we get there. We're dazing chaining some. We're connecting motherboard to motherboard on a couple. Just gonna keep daisy chaining those around. Actually, that's working pretty well. Daisy chain, daisy chain, daisy chain. That should be all, all of our fans. We can connect our CPU. Those are the same header. Those look different to me, but I guess not. Got our EPS power. I haven't done manual cabling like for everything in a little while. This is tedious. Novice, maybe we could make this like some obnoxious colored cable. I'm gonna just keep it black. We'll let the lighting do the work. So with all of our fans connected and everything ready to go there, let's go ahead and install some graphics cards. Now in the pursuit of all the RGB, we're gonna be going with something from last generation, actually not one of the new 4090s or uh, one of you know 7900 XTX or something like that. We're gonna go with the RTX 3090 for the Win 3 from EVGA uh, because it's got a great looking RGB element there on the front and we can also run two of them in SLI. You can't do that with the new 40 series cards. So uh, we gotta get two GPUs in there, right? We'll do one there and we can actually install the second one right sandwiched up against it or down a bit. I'm gonna go on the bottom for, you know, airflow and also, yeah, I think it'll spread the, spread the RGB out a little bit or something. Um, okay, cool. So there we go, everything's hooked up. Now we could, of course, we can install RGB two and a half inch SSDs. They install down in these drive bays here. You know, we could put them there. We're not gonna see them. I'm gonna cover this plate anyway. Uh, so I'm not gonna do that. We don't really need more storage. There actually is a mount for one of them behind this fan too, but again, we're not gonna see it. So I'm not gonna add those. If you wanted to add them just to be able to count after RGB, you could do that, I suppose, but I'm not going to. Um, so with that, I think, I think that's it. I think we're ready. I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna set things up and then we'll come back and we'll see exactly what it looks like. Oh, here she is all lit up and ready to go. Look at all of those fans and look at all that RGB. It's actually cool because those rear facing fans you can see through the motherboard tray and it actually casts a pretty cool light everywhere. It, it gives, it actually adds a lot of RGB that you don't see without it. So. Uh, I've got the fronts still off. Obviously, you probably wouldn't want, to, want, to, want, to, want to run it that way, but for the sake of seeing all the RGB, there it is. For, for peripherals here, we do have a keyboard from HyperX. has some pretty nice looking keycaps that let the RGB through. Uh, we've got the mouse over here. Forget who that's actually from. Uh, let's look here. It's actually pretty cool. Pretty cool amount. There's a lot of RGB options though, to be honest. Yeah, it's from uh, Endorphi. And I still got the I still got the Linus mouse, but we could of course get an RGB version as well. And then we got the monitor here from Asus ROG. So quite a bit of RGB now that now just to, to fully experience it. Let's turn the lights off. Which actually this room isn't quite as dark. But there it is. A lot of RGB. A lot of lights. A lot of fans. What do you think? Should I have gone with five 120 mil fans and not the the big 200 ones? I just I felt like I had to do it. It was too cool. So so there you go. Uh, in in the name of Linus Tech Tips, that is the ultimate RGB PC that you build in Peace Building Simulator. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Free Build Extreme. If you did, you want to see more videos of Free Build Extreme, be sure to subscribe to the official PC Building Simulator YouTube channel. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. See you.